two yeah. minutes is done right. Today, oh, today is working day for them, correct. Most of them will be returning by now mm -hmm. from the branch. Okay, sir, I will stop uh, my presentation. You can start the uh, proceeding and the session, sir. We'll uh, Shall I load? Now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I will upload the entire screen. Share. So whether the screen is now visible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. You just to check up whether it is moving. Yes. Okay, okay. So I think we can slowly start. Some are joining. Okay. Yes, slowly let them join. Friends, this is one subject which will give you a super score. Don't get worried. In a simple way, you can land. Risk management, case study. Normally, 25 questions will be there. I am audible to all of you. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Ten questions may be theoretical, but now most of the questions, 15 to sometimes more also in the form of case study or problems. Sometimes five problems they give together and you need to solve all together. So you will get five marks. If you are comfortable with the concept, all the five you can, uh, yes. Now we'll analyze because that time very, I think you already gone through. So my job will be little, this I first discussed, the starter, those who missed the first day, uh, yes, the other day. Uh, these are the simple questions they will ask you. So what are these? Which of these in instruments or investments carry more risk? Okay, very simple. It appears to be very tough. So I will, uh, okay, just uh, relook, no problem. Today, when you are familiar, I will, yes, quickly I will go through. But some important points I will focus. Because I feel these are the questions being repeatedly asked. So you should, if you know the concept, you can very well answer, very easy. For example, you see, 13% yielding, 13% rate of return is 13%, but 50% risk. So the real return is 6.5 only. Uh -huh. you, you immediately understood. When there is a 50% risk mean, though it may be 13%, the real return is 6.5 only. Correct? Okay. Next is 8% yielding, but 20%. So 8% 8 8 into 8, 80, 20 reduce. Because that becomes a risk, loss. So 8% in the 80, 6.4. Very easy. Huh? Either this way or that way. Without calculator, you can do. This is 9.5. And 9.5 is the rate of return. But 30% risk, you know. So the return will be reduced by 30%. That's the meaning. So 9.5 into 70%. 9.5 into 70% is 6.65. So which is the, which carries more risk? which carries more risk is the instrument which is giving lesser yield 6.4 instrument number two correct this we discussed any of those who missed the other day this is how you have to answer which carry more risk mean instrument number two which gives better return mean instrument number three correct understood so the question understand accordingly you have to okay okay now question number two uh, some, these are the questions they are asking. Credit risk, market risk, credit risk, I think um, 10 questions will be on credit risk, how to measure credit risk. And mostly the questions will be on standardized approach. I think what is standardized approach? If the risk rating is this, triple A rated, for example. Triple A rated means highest safety, lowest risk. Mm, the company, Tata Group, Reliance Group, First class companies, Infosys. Infosys, they never go for uh, uh, borrowing, that is uh, loan product. 
always they are cash rich company suppose in they are going for a adr issue then whoever going to the market they have to be rated so the approved rating agency they have given a rating triple a for a company that mean highest uh, 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 high, not highest risk highest safety lowest risk normally risk weight assigned under standardized approach triple a is 20 percent 20 percent you see how easy 10 crore but this they will not give in the exam triple a mean 20 percent you have to remember they will not give so 10 crore is the loan funded exposure again credit exposure comes under two categories funded non-funded lc guarantee non-funded co-acceptances non non-funded derivatives non-funded but these are all funded even in funded some will be withdrawn some may not be immediately drawn for example cc account cc account the borrower may enjoy 100 lakhs but he will have availed 90 lakhs only the remaining 10 lakhs you have to give credit conversion factor okay credit conversion factor so that is applicable in term loan also and that is applicable in the credit conversion factor is applicable in the undrawn portion in uh, cc limits undrawn portion in term loan and also in non funded limits if you understand the rules in the exam quickly you can do and you will score better okay so here though it is 10 crore the real exposure is uh, 20 crores only uh, the real exposure is 20 crores why because 20 percent only risk so 2 crore is the risk though you have given a loan of 10 crore 2 crore is the risk so 2 into 9 percent 1.8 simply you pick up 1.8 is the answer very nice hmm. Correct. B is the answer. So the risk weight is 2 crore. Risk weight is 2 crore, 20 percent. And uh, capital needed is 9, oh, 18. Great. One mark. Okay. Just uh, this we have discussed. But any of those who may have missed the other day, just a recap. But it is any number of time you land, you know. The more number of time you land, you will feel somewhat uh, something. Fresh look. That is how we also land. We people, faculty people also will learn. We are learning together. Okay, don't think you are only learning. We are, I am also learning. We are also learning. Ajayan sir is learning. Okay, Q2, the borrower rated BB. This you have to keep in mind. The corporate A, AAA mean 20, WA mean 30, A mean 50, BB mean 100, BB and below, BB and below. Double B and below 150 percent, but unrated mean 100 percent only. You see, if you are not to be rated, some companies are unrated. Unrated mean no uh, approved agencies will have done rating exercise. So for them only 100 percent is right. Suppose if the rating is too low, 150 percent. This you have to keep in mind. Understood? This is corporate ratings. You have to keep in mind. Then that will help you to uh, do mathematical problem so you see 10 crore but bb bb mean uh, bb mean 150 percent though you may have given one 10 crore the real exposure become 15 crore uh, 150 Imm immediately you can buy hot you can do okay though you have given a loan of 10 crore the real exposure become 15 crore because 150 percent is quite 150 into 9 percent uh, that is the capital capital needed is uh, simply <coughs> 1.35 how easy it is, but one mark. Okay, so question number three. Hey, now, documentary LC they are asking. Documentary LC means is a non funded. So, here immediately don't calculate uh, risk weight. Okay, as applicable to the borrower, you keep it last. First, you have to apply CCF because the non funded limit. Now, you see the question 10 crore, they have uh, opened a letter of credit and it is triple A. Triple A, triple A, what is the RWA? First 10 crore, you convert, you apply, and it is fully collateralized. It is fully backed by collateral securities. Okay, one second.
Okay, friends. Yes, sorry, uh, some interruption. Okay, no problem. You see, I have opened a one company, one branch has opened a documentary LC, but it is fully backed by collateral, mm, fully secured. Fully secured mean landed property or something. So here, uh, under uh, Basel III, the risk and the CCF is only 20%. First you apply 20%. Okay, 20% CCF. Now, what is CCF? The chances of the exposure becoming funded exposure. CCF being credit conversion factor. What does it really mean? You have given a non-funded limit. The non-funded limit, when it is likely to become a funded limit, if it doesn't pay, the customer doesn't pay, it becomes a funded exposure. So CCF means the chances of the percentage of percentage of funded exposure that is likely to become a the non-funded exposure that likely to become a funded exposure. That is why first you have to apply CCF. So when you apply CCF, you get 2 crore. Now you have to apply the risk weight as applicable to the category. Now you said triple A. Triple A means 20. Then 2 crore means 20 how much? 2 crore means 20, 40 lakhs. Then 40 lakhs the risk weight is uh, assigned. Then what is the capital? 40 into 9, uh, 3.6 lakhs. By heart you can do. Though you have opened a letter of credit 10 crore, because it is a LC fully secured and TBA, the ultimate capital requirement will be 3.6. Supposing it is a different party, BB, triple B, 150% this way to mean, you have to calculate in a different way. But CCF is 20% only. You understand? This 9%. Huh? 9%. Ah, nine capital. is the capital. Capital always, okay, in India, or uh, now, though it has now become 11.5 uh, CCB. What is CCB? How much capital is required? On the risk weight, you are required to maintain uh, 9%. 11.5, how you are getting the current, the capital concession buffer. buffer, buffer, buffer. Correct, huh? So, 9 yes. plus 2.5. But for calculation purpose, 9 only you add. Uh, you take into account, madam. Nine, nine. Okay. Earlier eight. Correct. Understood. Yes. Okay. What is the nine? The capital needed. Capital at... adequacy ratio. Ah, capital adequacy for calculation purpose. Real capital is now eleven point five. Okay. But for working purposes, you can exclude capital conservation buffer. That is two point five. Nine only you can ap apply. So almost whenever capital is needed, capital is needed. You see. Capital charge needed me 9. You keep it in mind. Just to press 9%, you see the question. Sometimes, uh, that this I think we have discussed. So some sir, one, sir, one, um, sir, one doubt, sir. No, tell me. CCF for all means uh, 20%. No, 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 no. Uh, that is a, if, you have a, if you have a pen by side, you note down. CCF for fully secured letter of credit, 20%. Note down. You can note down. Like LC fully secured by collateralized LC. They call it, they will use the word collateralized LC, fully collateralized LC. This is the word they will use in exam. That means fully secured LC. Immediately remember CCF is 20%. Okay, then risk weight will be as applicable to the category of the borrower. First you apply CCF 20. Next one you note down bid bond guarantee. What is bid bond guarantee? Suppose you are there is a contractor. He is participating in a uh, contract. He is submitting his bid. So at that time, there is no risk. So there, whenever you are give, giving a bid bond guarantee, the credit conversion CCF is 50%. Okay. Only for LC20. And when you are giving a bid bond guarantee, 50%. And whenever you are giving a performance guarantee also, CCF is 50%. And they will use the, they will uh, they will just try to test you. When they use the word performance guarantee, you remember 50%. But whenever they use the word financial guarantee or standby LC, then you have to uh, immediately remember credit conversion factor is 100%. You understood? This is for non-funded facilities. And for funded facilities, something will be remaining undrawn, you know, CC account. They will not draw the full. So if they are for CC account, you remember for the untrawn component, 20% is the CCF. Okay, 20%. 
uh, that is for uh, overdraft account and cc account suppose is a term loan something will be drawn in the current year correct right? by the close of the current year then 20% it is likely to be drawn some installments suppose in a term loan will not be availed in one stroke they will avail next year they will use the word the installment they will draw the term loan next year then you have to apply cca 50 percent this is basel 3 standard guideline you have to remember agreed so this okay. uh, right doubt cleared yes sir okay here the tire one capital, they have given tire one capital, tire two capital 800, just to confuse you. Because tire two capital, remember, cannot go beyond tire one capital. So it restricted to, again, though they have given 800, just to confuse you, you knock down, it is 500. So 500 plus 500, 1000 only you have to take as a tire one, tire two. Okay. Now risk weight for credit risk is risk weighted assets. Credit risk 5000. Then what is the risk weight? This is risk weight as risk weight assigned. That is 5,000 crores is the 5,000 crore risk weight assigned. Then what is the risk weight? So 5,000 divided by okay, 5,000 divided by nine. 5,000 divided by nine. Credit risk is 5,000 RWA for credit risk is 5,000 crore. Capital charges for market risk. Okay, now market risk how much? 200 crore. Market risk capital. Uh, here, capital itself is 200 crore. So, 9% is 200 crore mean, what is 100%? First, to apply the CRAR, you should get the risk weight assigned. So, first one, uh, credit. Credit, how much they have given? 5,000. So, 5,000 crore risk weight assigned. They have given the risk weight assigned itself. So, you need not have to worry. So, 5,000 crore risk weight assigned. Here, they have not given the risk weight assigned. Only they have given the capital, 200 crore capital. So 200 divided by 9. For 9 is 200 mean 100 how much? So 2,222. Here, risk, uh, capital is 100 crore for operational risk. That is 9% is 100 crore. Then 100% is how much? So 900 by 9 multiplied by 100, 111. So total risk weight will be uh, market risk is 2,022, 222. Operational risk is 1,111 1, and credit risk is 5,000. You make it total, then divide by, uh, that is the total total risk weight. Okay. So, tire 1, tire 2, tire 1, tire 2, how much? 1,000. 1,000 divided by 8.3333. 1,000 divided by, why 1,000? Why not 1,300? Though it is... 800, you cannot allow 800. Tire 2 should not exceed Tire 1. So the formula is Tire 1 capital plus Tire 2 capital divided by all three risk weighted assets. So that will be the capital adequacy ratio. Here I think the question is, okay, sometimes they will ask the capital total C or A or so 8,000 uh, divided by 8,000 uh, divided by 8033, the answer will be almost 12%. 12%. So they, they will again ask the question are they having adequate capital adequacy or not? So the capital adequacy, including CCB, is 11.5. Yes, sir. So if they are 12%, they are having adequate capital. Sometimes they will have a deficit. Required capital is 11.5. That is required capital, including capital consideration buffer to manage all the three risk. Supposing that you are calculating only 10.5, then you have to tell the deficit in capital is this much percentage. So like that, the questions will be twisted. Okay, friends, you watch the question carefully. Sometimes they will give the risk weight. Sometimes they will risk give it the capital itself. So capital has to be convert risk weight using the formula divided by 9. For calculation purpose, 9 only. But when the question is asked, how much capital is needed? Capital as a CRAR now needed under the Basel 3 is 11.5 including CCD. Okay, you now see the NPA, very often they are asking question. The level of NPA you see, the level of NPA, there are three categories of NPA. If you have got a pen, you note down. NPA having provisions, overall provisions less than 20%. Second category, NPA having overall provisions more than 20% 
less than 50%, second category. You understood why I am grouping into three category? One question they will ask. The third NPA is, for some NPA, you are providing only substandard account, sometimes you are providing only 15%. Uh, so, okay, so some NPA account, some group of NPA account, the overall provision will be less than 20. Some NPA account, the overall provisions will be ranging from 20 but less than 50. 50% 50 of the uh, total NPA. For some NPA account, your provision itself will be more than 50%. Now, you, are, uh, you see, the risk weight assigned will be different. Supposing you see, now here, it is uh, provision less than 20. So the risk weight assigned will be 150%, believe it or not. 150%, you have to 150%. Because though it is 2000 crore NPA, the risk weight assigned is 150%. Why 150%? Because the provision is a very minimum provision. Less, very negligible, 20% is nothing. So they are telling, the banks which are providing only less than 20 percent such npas are having high risk so you have to provide a risk weight 150 so 150 into 2000 3000 3009 is 270 crore for this exposure alone you see the next question thousand crore but the level of provision is <coughs> oh sorry the level of provision is 20 ton, more than 20 or less than 50 they will give more than 20 here the wedding is uh, uh, not correct where the level of provision is more than 20 or 20, but less than 50. So here, the risk weight is assigned will be 100%. 100%. For so 1,000 crore, 100% risk, 1,000 crore, 9% capital. So 90 crore is the capital needed. You see, this they will not give. They will only give, a yeah, bank has got this much the crore, where the level of provision is more than 20 percent but less than 50 percent how much capital needed <clears throat> for this exposure alone this will be the question understood or not you see the next question next question your bank has got npa because npa one every year one question they are asking npa 1500 crore npa you understand not only 1500 crore but there are three grouping of npa npa also provision less than 20 20 to 50, you understood. Provisions more than 50. So here, the provisions are just 50%, 50 and above. Then the capital, the risk weight assigned will be 50% only because already you have got a provision 50, no? So the risk, remaining risk is 50. So though 1,500, 50% risk mean 750 is the risk weight. 1,500 is the NPA. But risk weight is 50%, 750. So how, how much capital needed? 750 into 9. <coughs> you see? Unless you know this, uh, no, you will get uh, marks. Just like that, you can get the marks. That is 8. We are going to discuss all. Don't worry. Nothing will be missed. Again, you go through. You are uh, clicking. Okay. Now you see the question. <coughs> ABC fan. C crore. Here they will not give the risk weight. Is a fam. Fam mean? Maybe a partnership firm, okay, or small uh, unit, proprietary firm. They enjoy CC limit 6 crore. Now, immediately remember, exposure up to, note down, exposure up to retail exposure. Retail means it's a retail loan, small loan, not corporate loan. Because they do not undergo rating. These small people, they will not get rated. So, these people, 6 crore, up to 7.5 crore, Risk wise assigned is 75%. Remember. Understood? Retail regulatory exposure. What is the risk weight assigned? Retail loan, they will ask. I have once bank has given so much retail loan. <coughs> okay. Housing loan different. Retail loan they have given. Credit card they have given. Credit card, you remember, 125% risk weight. Credit card outstandings are this much. These are the standard risk weight you have to remember. You understood? Even under uh, standard assets, I think all of you have to remember the level of provisions. You understood? <coughs> all standard asset 0 0.40. Agriculture SME 0.25. And uh, teaser loan 2%. Like that, like that, I think you'll have uh, understood the standard risk weight. You uh, keep in memory, that will help you in the exam. In the exam, they will not tell all this. Even uh, sometimes, you know, the haircut also, some haircut you have to remember. Okay? I will tell you how to calculate the haircut, now how to calculate the risk weight after adjusting the haircut. So all these, these are the simple, simple questions they are asking. 
okay but they will ask in a lengthy way now here we are putting in a simple format but that their main motive is to confuse you okay so they will make deliberately the sentences uh, uh, looking big but subject will be simple okay so now uh, 6 crore the amount drawn is 5.2 my god though he is enjoying 6 crore amount drawn is 5.2 so for first 5.2 crore what is the risk weight first 7.5 is less than 7.5 so 70% is the risk so first how much he has drawn 5.2 here no ccf need to be applied because it's a funded liability he has drawn already. So how much he has drawn? 5.2. Immediately apply 70%. So 3.9 crore. Risk weight is 3.9 crore. Agreed? Okay. Well, how you got 70%? They will not tell. How you got 70%? Because 6 crore. And this is how you have to pick up the mark. If you don't remember this, 6 crore, 70%, your calculation will go wrong. Agreed? Okay. Next one. Now something is not availed. How much is not availed? 80 lakhs not availed. 80 lakhs, 8.8 crore, not availed. First, you have to apply CCF. What is the CCF? 20%. What is CCF? I have already told. The, non, the undrawn balance, that may become a funded. He may draw because he's a enjoy limit, you know. He's enjoy limit. Sometimes they will try to twist you. CC limit is 6.4 crore, but drawing power is uh, 5.8 crore. Now, outstanding liability is 5.2. They will try to test you, friend. In that case, don't go up to limit. You have to go up to DP only. I think all of you remember in credit management, the customer can draw up to limit or up to drawing power, whichever is not higher, whichever is lower. Agreed or not? So, they will try to test you. CC limit mean limit will be 6 crore, but the DP is only 5.8. Amount drawn is 5.2. Now, how much you can more draw? Another 60 lakhs only you can draw more. Because DP is reduced. You understand? So, this is how they will uh, try to. So, if you uh, don't under, uh, if you miss that particular concept, your answer will become slightly wrong. Agreed? Don't make, uh, don't worry. You are through. Okay? So, the risk weight first, 80 here not availed. So, 20 CCF. So, 0.16. On point one is again 75%. What is the 75%? The risk weight applicable to the category. That is a point to 12 crore. Okay, then total uh, risk weight assigned to homage 4.02. 4.02. 3.9 plus 0.12. On that 9 9%. That's all. So this much capital is needed. You see, one known mark. Understood? You uh, go through the steps. Because earlier you will have gone through, now because you understood the explanatory part, now it will be somewhat, I feel, I am convinced, you will be able to understand in a better way for my exam angle, because the exam is very nearby. Okay, risk management. Now, unrated corporate. Why they are giving unrated corporate? Risk weight is 100%. Immediately remember. 20 crore they have sanctioned. The term loan, uh, 20 crore. Avail, amount availed is 12 crore. So, first 12 crore funded already. The 5 crore expected to be dispersed in the ensuing year. Ensuing year means not this year, next year. Balance in the next year. Ensuing year also, uh, I think here, I think some mistake. Yeah, yeah. Expected to be dispersed during the current year, uh, not ensuing year. The balance in the ensuing year, I think some uh, small correction. Okay, don't worry. Now you understood, you know, disperse in the uh, the current year and balance in the ensuing year. Okay. Now remember the 12, 5 crore already has availed. So 5 crore uh, just apply 12 crore. Availed is 12 crore. So 12 crore risk weight 100. Why 100 I put? Unrated corporate. So 12 availed. So no CCF is applicable. 100. 100, 100. Uh, sorry. 100 percent 12 crore. Now the ensuing year, that is the current year, five, uh, how much is going to avail? 5 crore. Current year mean? Now I think it is by, okay, ensuing year, normally ensuing year also, first supposing they are, sometimes they will use the word current year, this also correct. Ensuing year mean 20% you have to give. Next year mean 50%. So 20% of how much? 5 crore, 20% mean 1 crore. 5 crore, 20% immediately 1 crore. Now how much is remaining? 
ट्वेंटी करोर लिमिट ट्वेल करोर ऑलरेडी अवेल्ड फाइव करोर टू बी अवेल्ड सो सेवेंटीन अनदर थ्री करोर इज देयर फॉर द थ्री करोर फिफ्टी परसेंट सीसीएफ यू हैव टू गिव द सीसीएफ दो ही इज एलिजिबल टू ड्रा अनदर थ्री करोर बट नॉट इमीडिएटली ही इज गोइंग टू डू इन द एनसीईंग ईयर सो द रिस्क वेट असाइंड विल बी द सीसीएफ असाइंड विल बी फिफ्टी सो द फिफ्टी मीन वन पॉइंट फाइव सो द टोटल रिस्क वेट असाइंड विल बी ट्वेल्व प्लस वन प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव नाइन परसेंट मीन दिस द कैपिटल नीड एक्ट पर आप फट यू डू वन मार्क आ यू सी लाइक दैट वी सो डिस्कस नो नो ब्रावो द ऑपरेशन रेस बिलीव इट आर नॉट यू वे आर स्टिल इन द बेसिक इंडिकेटर अप्रोच समटाइम दे विल आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट अंडर द स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड अप्रोच व्हाट इज द बेसिक इंडिकेटर अप्रोच दे विल आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट आर द इनकम फॉर द प्रीसीडिंग 3 ईयर एंड डिवाइड बाय 3 सपोज इन 1 ईयर देयर इज अ लॉस यू एक्सक्लूड दैट ईयर ओके डोंट इग्नोर दैट ईयर एंड देन 9% and on the income 15% first you have to calculate the risk weight then 9% first 15% what is the 15% for example uh, fixed percentage alpha they call it alpha is 15% 15% of what gross income gross income the gross income may be reduced because of the lapses in operational uh, management some people may have forgotten the may, they may not have taken the loan paper that is risk connected with your operations that is man made risk okay okay uh, so uh, yes negligence on the part of they are not adherent to the systems and procedure that is why operational risk so how much we are likely to lose the total income on that alpha factor alpha factor mean 15% of the total income may be uh, may be the risk so first you know 15% you apply on that again you put 9% for example on a live case 3 years there is a profit but one year there is a loss two year profit one year loss loss mean you ignore loss mean you ignore so 80 plus 24 profit they have earned the profit may be reduced by 15% so 52 crore is the uh, average why i have uh, only uh, two Though there are three years, this year ignoring, so 52 crore. On that 15 percent you apply. 52 crore, 15 percent how much? Ah, uh, 52 crore, uh, 7.8 crore. On that 9 percent. This is the risk weight assigned, alpha factor. On the total income end, sometimes they will give profit or sometimes income end. So on that you put 9 percent. So this is the uh, risk weight. Uh, this is the capital. This is the risk weight. 7.8 crore is the risk weight. And the capital needed is this much crores. Okay, operational risk one or two question. The operational risk also under two category. Two category is the same thing. Okay, so when there is a continuous profit, mean you divide by three. For example, this is the one they are now asking. This is known as the standardized approach. Standardized approach credit risk also standardized approach that is different formula. Here operational risk also basic indicator approach standardized approach. What is the standardized approach? It is, there are eight segments of business. You remember, what are the eight segment of business? Uh, for each segment of business, beta factor you have to remember. They will not give. Please remember, corporate finance mean high risk, so 18 percent risk. Trading and sales mean 18 percent. Retail banking low risk, 12 percent. Commercial banking 15 percent. Payment and settlement high risk, 18 percent. You have to remember, agency services 15 percent. that is you are doing agency like life insurance insurance banks are acting as agents so you are get, getting some uh, uh, income so that income may be uh, you may lose that income by uh, 15% because of some uh, uh, non adherence to systems procedure this is how basel is or is approximate formula approved formula assets management mean yes bad assets you are managing so you may lose 12% so 18 no that are three categories 18 remember 18 18 15 there are two categories the remaining eight segment friends so the eight segment they will give question what you see the question uh, you see the question a bank has earned 220 crore income in retail banking so 220 into 12% that's all 220 but the 12% you have to remember 220 12% 26 4 crore is the risk weight assigned in operation risk okay corporate finance how much income they have earned 330 crore but the corporate finance what is the risk factor the beta factor here no alpha beta beta factor is 18% so 330 into 18 how much 59.4 commercial banking how much 15% so this is the total risk weight assigned total it 
total it means 103 uh, 102 for 9 9 uh, apply 9 percent that's all this is the total capital needed you see the eight segment of business anything they may give this you have to memorize they may not give and they will give the income and in a segment of business and immediately apply 9 percent uh, over so you are getting the answer understood so go through the steps once again this i think we have discussed but anyhow i will have a relook cc limit always outstanding 400 so the 320 as applicable to the category and unrated corporate no issue unrated mean 100 they will give but you have to remember the 320 100 you immediately convert okay and the were 80 first you apply cc of 20 percent again you apply to 100 and similar way term loan we already discussed bill discounting bill discounting also limit is 240 but he has availed only 200 so the uh, 200 full 100 for the remaining 40 lakhs again you apply ccf then 100 you apply there are two stages unrun mean first you apply ccf then you apply uh, risk weight as applicable to the category packing edit 500 limit packing edit is also working up to limit okay packing edit bill discount limit all are working capital so part of working capital so 500 limits uh, 500 lakh sanctioned but uh, he has drawn only 480 he may draw another 20 lakhs you know he's eligible for uh, full uh, uh, limit sanction limit so the 20 you have to apply ccf here don't apply ccf here you see financial guarantee full 100 percent 100 percent ccf first you apply ccf then uh, uh, the risk category as applicable to the borrower suppose instead of uh, unrated corporate if it's a triple year rated mean first you apply ccf again you apply 20 percent aa mean 30 like that you remember aa mean okay double uh, a to sometimes they will give like this if they don't give you have to remember if they give like this no issue In the exam they will give Supposing triple B, triple B to B, 100%, below BB, 150, unrated. If they give like this, you have to go by what they have stored, what they have already given. If they don't give anything, sometimes haircut also they will give. If they don't give, you have to, you have to remember. These are the haircuts, these are the risk weight assigned. Okay. So some, sometimes they will tell explicitly, then you have to immediately do that. So here you see financial guarantee 350 under I told. Bid bond guarantee only CCF is 50%. Document LC fully collateral is 300 lakhs. So you have to apply only to CCF is 20%. Okay. Bid bond guarantee they have given now. Bid bond performance 50. So you remember the formula. So again here you see collateral 80 lakhs. Banked up as you see the total limit you total it. This is the working I have seen is a total limit. 400, 600, and uh, financial uh, uh, guarantees. Total risk weight you calculate. The total risk weight you have calculated, you know, on that, collaterals are applicable. The collateral you have to reduce. Because collateral is nothing but uh, approved securities. Bank deposit 80 lakhs, no haircut. You can note down. If you have got a pen, note down. And bank deposits, no haircut. Because you will not lose anything. What is a haircut? Note down. Haircut is the likely loss or erosion in the value of a marketable asset. Understood? Erosion, likely loss while enforcing the value of a marketable asset. The house is a marketable asset. But always can you get 100 lakhs? No. Even, but uh, uh, mark, uh, land, the house property is not approved under Basel 3. Remember, for purpose of calculating value, credit risk weight, it is not approved. It is approved for credit purposes. Your sanctioning authorities may have. But Basel III doesn't recognize mortgaged properties as a form of collateral. And they will recognize what? Bank deposit 80 lakhs, fully 80 lakhs, no haircut. NSC maturing in the current year, haircut 2. So what does it mean? So the NSC, how much they have given? Uh, okay, NSC, how much NSC they have given? Okay. That NSC they have to give, no? Uh, yes, NSC 20 lakhs. So 20 lakhs mean 2 minus, only 2% you minus. Gold to 40 lakhs mean, no, don't take the 40 lakhs. 40 lakhs minus 15. The haircut will reduce the value. Then listed share, listed share, haircut they are given. Otherwise they will tell nifty shares. Remember, nifty shares, 
the sensex shares because they are all first class shares for that in the you see remember the haircut is 25 percent listed shares if they are simply listed share mean 40 percent i think they will give the uh, uh, haircut or you have to remember since uh, this nifty share 25 percent 25 percent if they are specifically giving you go through that but here they are giving haircut what is a haircut that is a likely loss okay when you go for sale you may not realize the hundred percent you may realize only 70 percent so for the purpose of adjusting the exposure okay you have to emt property they are just to confuse you you have to ignore this so the total limit minus 80 because you have no haircut nsc whatever they have given minus two percent gold 40 lakhs minus 15 percent listed share 180 lakhs don't take the 180 lakhs 180 lakhs minus 20 percent then you minus all these collateral then you calculate nine percent so some exams examples i have given go through the exam worked out example okay friend dispersal in the current year just to because it may be a five mark question it may be a five mark question just to go through all that i have worked out again go through now i think you'll be able to understand okay how this haircut you see how finally haircut is calculated now final all i have one by one i have calculated that is why what is the rw per credit uh, now you see all uh, guarantee guarantee how we have calculated is a financial guarantee so financial guarantee means 100 percent so 350 lakhs you know because all limits first you have to calculate the performance guarantee 120 lakhs but ccf is 50 so 60 lakhs there is quite and bid bond guarantee 60 lakhs you have given limit sanction 6 lakhs yes available 60 lakhs okay and uh, ccf is uh, 50 here they will not uh, limit availed so uh, uh, bid bond guarantee mean here uh, non-funded only take the entire limit limit 60 so they are 50 percent ccf so 30 lakhs you see finally how they are calculating finally i will give you how to calculate the cal uh, risk weight or uh, total limit you are calculating rw cc limit 330 lakhs rw risk weight 372 bill discounting 208 packing edit 484 this is for funded limit non-funded limit 500 lakhs so the total risk weight is for funded and non-funded final calculation 336 all this 1900 on the 1900 now you have to minus this uh, collateral how we are not the working next to working next to working very nice working you see uh 1900 you told you know on that minus collateral collateral how you are uh, collateral uh, that uh, uh, the final it will come uh, the collateral bank deposit bank deposit how much he has got 80 lakhs so 80 80 you take then nsc uh nsc how much he has got 20 lakhs 20 lakhs minus 98 percent that is 19.6 only two percent you reduce you can likely loss the gold though 40 lakhs 15 percent you minus so 34 lakhs the listed share 180 share you can cut minus it 135 so all that collateral you were totally 268 so total limits 1900 you know minus 268 ah why you are minus 268 the approved collateral laundered property don't uh, take into account all approved collateral minus haircut you minus it though the exposure is 1900 crore it is reduced to 1633.40 crore because you have netted you have reduced the value of collateral and you have the all the collateral have undergone haircut as per the rules then you apply nine percent then you apply nine percent one six double three four zero into nine percent this much capital is needed you see one big question five mark okay so they will ask you to answer five mark again go through how to calculate crr this already we have discussed so don't worry how to calculate crr first to market risk capital they have given 500 crore capital so risk weight will be 500 divided by 0 0.09 why 0 0.09 nine percent i have converted decimal so 5556 and the next one you know capital charge for operationally 300 crore so 300 divided by 0 0.09 333 then 
capital rw for credit is 1000 so 1000 so total 1000 again you don't have to because already they have given they have, here they have given capital so you have to calculate the risk weight assigned so here risk weight is 1000 crore 1000 crore all different all mix up of accounts some cc account different all put together different different category of they have given 1000 crore so total risk weight is uh, 1000 crores for credit risk 5556 for market risk all are over now tier 1 capital 1000 tier 2 capital also 1000 so 2000 is the uh, 2000 so how to calculate the crar tier 1 eligible tier 1 capital eligible tier 2 capital so 2000 divided by uh, okay to first tier 1 tier 1 is 1000 divided by 18889 so 5.29 they will ask i think now we have to maintain 5.5 5.5 i think okay so the total crr i think you know the combination no 5.5 additional uh, capital 1.5 is so 7 then uh, tier 2 2% 9 then ccb 2.5 11.5 that you have to remember when well, we are doing the uh, understood 5.5 core capital core capital 5.5 additional core capital 1.5 so 5.5 plus 1.5 7 then uh, tier 2 2 so 7 plus 2 9 CCP 2.5, 11.5. The 11.5. How you are arriving? You have to remember the sequence. So the questions will be there. Agreed? I think all of you are familiar. So tire total capital 2000. Why 2000? Ah, the tire two. I have that just to test you. They will. Uh, but total risk weight. So 10.59 is the total overall CRAR. Are they? Within the eligible uh, CRR, uh, uh, adequate it is adequate or inadequate? Yes, it is not adequate. They want eleven point five, including CCB. So there is a shortage. That also they are asking. How much uh, shortage? Okay, what is the risk weight? So it may be a five mark question also. Okay, now MSME unit they will sometimes they will ask MSME no. MSME is special CC limit four hundred, and the outstanding is three twenty. MSME means You immediately remember it. Will, it can be up to up to how much? Seven fifty lakhs. That is seven point five crore. It can be classified as retail regulatory exposure. Risk weight assigned will be seventy five percent. Normally MSME seventy percent. Don't worry. And outstanding three twenty. Outstanding three twenty. So first outstanding three twenty. You put three twenty. Okay, three twenty. Risk weight is three twenty. Okay. Or no. So uh, outstanding is 320 salary capital charge 320 oh one step I have missed okay the RW for MSM unit is 75 so outstanding 320 okay ah uh, so for 320 ah uh, okay first ah uh, 320 they have taken then CCF 20 uh, what is CCF CCF is 80 lakhs to be drawn or that 80 20 is 16. So the total outstanding three thirty six. Then seventy uh, five they applied. Correct. So three thirty six. How we got three twenty three twenty drawn MSME no. Then uh, uh, how we got sixteen. The remaining is eighty. On eighty CCF is twenty twenty uh, percent. Sixteen. So total uh, exposure is three thirty six. Is a MSME. So seventy percent. So this is the uh, capital needed. This is the risk weight. On that capital needed is again. Uh, Nine percent you have to calculate. <laughs> okay, okay, friends. Ah, uh, so th sometimes they will twist you. The bank invested two hundred crore in its own share. What is the risk weight assigned for this risk? Immediate answer should be no bank can extend any credit facility on its own share. Their own share they cannot finance. They cannot take as security. They can take other bank shares as security, but not their own share. Just to twist you, they will give credit card. They are asking. Credit card, consumer credit. They will not ask credit card, consumer credit. One bank has got two thousand crore consumer credit. How much capital is needed? Simple. So one twenty five percent. The risk weight assigned is one twenty five percent. They have constructed a commercial complex. Okay, commercial complex means always high risk. Commercial entertainment park. Remember, one risk weight is one fifty percent. Okay, some standard uh, risk weight you have to remember. So based on that question, now you see the bank has committed conditional takeover, uh, unconditional takeover, 
Unconditional takeover means risk weight will be unconditional mean 100 percent. CCF will be 100 percent. They are also CCF. But it's a conditional takeover mean 50 percent. That you remember. Conditional mean 50 percent CCF. Unconditional mean risk weight. Either uh, risk weight or if they already taken over, uh, it, uh, it is a you have to immediately risk weight. But they are about to take over CCF. Okay. CCF means what? They are not yet taken over, you know. Uh, conditional, unconditional. So that you remember. Sometimes they will ask. Conditional mean 50 percent. Unconditional mean 100 percent. That you remember. Okay. Now you see one small uh, this question they are asking. A bank having floating rate housing loan. All housing loans are floating interest rate. Agreed. Now no bank is giving fixed interest rates. Housing loan means floating. Okay. But how it is funded? Funded by fixed deposit. Average cost 8.4. The cost of deposit is 8.4. Which is deposit? Savings bank current account cannot be used for housing loan. Because that is a savings bank current account or demand deposit. That should not be used for. It's a mismatch. So they have to necessarily use long-term deposits only for funding uh, housing loan. You see the question. The 1,000 crores housing loan, not 1,000. 1,000 crores housing loan funded by deposit fixed cost. The deposits are always at fixed cost, but uh, uh, assets are at uh, floating rates. Now, the question is, floating rate keeps coming down. Then it faces which risk? Interest rate mismatch risk. What is the mismatch? Deposits are, the cost of funds are fixed, but the return on the loans are, assets are floating. When the floating rate keeps coming down, it may become a loss for the bank. Suppose the floating rate keeps going up, profit. But the floating rate keeps coming down, bank has to charge less interest. So it makes, but cost of funds is uh, constant. So the bank will end up by loss, en end up by incurring loss. Agreed. How to manage this? The question is, how to manage the risk? Remember IRS. IRS is a beautiful product, derivative product. If this similar questions are asked, don't lose that one mark. Interest rate mismatch can be managed only through which product? IRS. What is IRS? Interest rate swap. You remember, don't worry how it is working. It's a big concept, but don't miss the uh, answer. You are getting one more. Whenever there is an interest rate mismatch, manage through IRS. How the bank will manage IRS. Okay. Now we see the question. Wonderful. It's a question I think uh, uh, they have asked, but it doesn't mean they will not ask again. You see, there are guidelines now. How the bank has to build up CCB? CCB means capital conservation buffer. How they have to build up out of profits end? So under Basel 3, there are guidelines. What is the guideline? You know, this is the guideline. What is the guideline? The minimum capital conservation standard for individual bank as well Basel 3. 5.5, the capital is the core, the uh, Tyrone capital is 5.12, 6.125. It is 5.1. 5.5% of the total risk weighted assets up to 6.125% of the risk weighted assets. The whatever profit they are earning, entire profit they have to add it to their capital because the capital is too low. This is the guideline. 100% no dividend they can pay. What is the dividend? The bank is earning profit. They can give something dividend, something they may retain as uh, retained profits. To, they will add up to the capital. But the Basel 3 guideline is very straight. If the capital is too low, 5.5, 6.125, entire profit to be retained, no dividend payout. Okay, you see second one. Six, if the level of capital, the level of capital is uh, 6.125 to 6.75, you see, this you have to remember. 5.5, 5, 6.25 you add. Here are 61125, another 625 you add 6.75. 80% only, 80% to be retained as capital, 20% can be declared as dividend because your profit has lolly gone up. You see, the third slab is if the capital is anywhere between 6.75 to 7.375, another 0.675 you add, 60% to be retained as capital. Remaining 40% only can be distributed as dividend. You see, this you have to remember. Uh, how you are going to remember? They are asking. Supposing the, the, the 
capital has gone up, the capital structure, they've got a capital adequacy ratio, 7.375, more than 7.35, but less than 8%, that is a tier 1 capital alone. Tier 1 capital alone, that is known as core capital. Then 40% only can be retained, the 60% can be given as dividends. Only 60% of profits as dividend, 40% to be retained as what? Uh, capital. Only the, the bank cannot uh, declare entire thing as a dividend. There are restrictions by Reserve Bank of India. If, because you are having low capital, suppose you see the last stage, you are having capital more than 8. No problem, you celebrate the Bavari. What does it mean? Entire profit you give to, you give to whom? You give to shareholders. Dividend will be given to shareholders. So here, when the common equity becomes common equity, not preference share, the common equity becomes 8%, that is tier 1, core, core common equity. Common equity means common shares. Okay, when it becomes 8% and more, no restriction, okay, you can declare the, uh, that is the bank, uh, but no bank will, entire profit, no, no bank will declare as dividend, something they will always, Add to the capital because they have to build up the capital, you know, instead of borrowing. Now, dividend is uh, okay, but without dividend, uh, shareholders will be upset. You have to give because who is the shareholder? Government of India is also a shareholder. Our government owned banks, they are the shareholder. You have to give them uh, some uh, dividend, otherwise, they will be angry. So, what you give dividend to the shareholder, you have to give, otherwise, so the government rules are now. You come to the question, you come to the question. How much bank A cannot earmark for dividend? You see the question. This is how they will twist you. How much bank A cannot earmark for dividend? How, uh, you see the question. Bank A, they are having 5.6 tier 1 capital. 5.6 comes under first tier. So they cannot declare any dividend. Please remember, because their capital is too low. Entire profit, so how much bank cannot earmark for dividend? Only zero they can give. Zero. You see the answer. Answer. Uh, I answer. I have worked out where. Uh, you see. How much bank can retain a CCB? Oh, here. I think uh, top. It answer. Top answer. How much here? Bank's capital is 5.6. So entire 5.5 40 crore. The 5 40 crore entire thing should be retained. Zero dividend. You cannot give any dividend. Zero dividend. Understood? Question number uh, first to 31. So you come to the second question. Second question, the capital, one bank B, another bank, not the same bank. One bank B, now their tire one capital is 6.3. 6.3 means second slab. 6.3 means this slab. Now how much they can give us dividend? 20% they can give us dividend. 80% they have to retain. So 20% of 280 crore, how much? 56 crores. Only 56 crores is available for dividend. The remaining uh, 80%, they cannot give uh, to shareholder. They have to add to their capital. This is a law. This is under Basel III, Reserve Bank of India. You see the third question, third, 33. 33, how much bank C? How bank C 6.82, they are having already 6.82 capital. Okay, 6.82 means which category? This you have to remember. 6.82 means third slab. It is within this slab. 6.82, you know. 6.75, more than 6.75, less than 7.7. So their bank C is in third category. Oh, what is that meaning? 40% profit they can retain as dividend. Question you see, would not distribute as dividend. Ah, they will twist you. Bank C would not distribute. So 60% they could not distribute. So, you see, 60, 620 crore uh, profit, 60% they could not declare as dividend and uh, it should be retained. So, 40% can be declared as dividend. They will twist you. How much cannot be declared as dividend? How much declared, can be de declared as dividend? So, these are the questions. You know this formula. You see the th fourth question. <coughs> 34. How much bank B? So transfer to CCB. Ah, question is now different. How much bank D? Bank D comes under which category? And now how much bank D? They are having 7.7% capital. Is a question asked in one year. 7.7. 7.7 means it comes under this lab. Only 60% of the profit as dividend, 40% to be retained as CCB. Now 
how much they have to transfer to CCB? 40%. 40% of uh, uh, three ton homage, 40% of three ton homage, 40% uh, of three ton is 124. So 124 to be transferred to capital. The remaining 60% can be declared as dividend. You see, application of mind plus calculation, it may be a five mark question. Now, next to the last question How much bank E need not retain for CCB? <clears throat> bank E, how much they should, they need not retain for CCB? That means, how much they can give us dividend? So, you see the last question they have earned 1200 crore profit, but their current tier one capital is 8.1. Oh my, my God, good. They have crossed 8. So, entire 1200 crore, they can declare as what? Because the entire 1200 crore, no restriction, no need to convert the profit to capital. Entire profit they can distribute to shareholders. This is the government of India. Really. But when they get this uh, 8.1, they have to get a permission from uh, RBI before declaring the entire thing as entire profits as dividend. No bank will do. But before declaring the entire profits as dividend, because they have already crossed the mandatory level 8, before declaring, they should get the permission from Reserve Bank of India. Understood or not? How many of you understood? This is the question. Five more question. If your luck is there, if it comes this year, five out of five you can get. Okay, friends. Now you come to the next question. This is a wonderful question. Don't worry. I'm. We are finishing today. Another maybe 10-15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Bank. You see, this is the question. This is the question asked in one year. You see, my. It's almost like a migration, but in a different way. Uh, migration. Very simple question they are asking. Bank ABC having 400 crore in 20% is category. You see the question. And 600 crore in 50% is category. 1000 crore in 100 is category. Immediately you have to work out. Total lo loan is 2000 crores. Okay. Next you see, this is the, uh, they are putting a twister. If 20% of 20% is category and 50% of 50% is category, get downgraded to the next lower level, what is the additional capital? It's a beautiful question. Okay. How to do it? Simple. First, you calculate before, uh, first you calculate before uh, degradation or migration. Either you call it degradation, sometimes they will use the word downgrading or they will use the word get migrated to the next lower grade. Okay. It's nothing but downgrading or it is going to the next grade. What is the next grade for 20%? Next grade is 50% only. When it is lower, mean 100% risk. Only three risk categories they have given. The exam, the question. So 20% of first you calculate normal risk weight. So 400 in uh, what category? 20. So 400 into 20% risk weight is 80. Agreed? Immediate. Next is 600 crore. 600 crore, how much risk? 50. So risk weight assigned is 300 crore. Agreed? Huh? Next is 1000 crore. 100% risk. So 1000 crore, 1000. So total risk weight is how much? 1380. First you calculate the capital. So 1380 in 9, 124, 20 capital needed before downgrading. Before the assets went bad. Some of the category downgrading. Because always you cannot expect them to remain in 20% uh, risk category. It will move down to next category. That is downgrading or migrating to the next uh, lower category. Not higher. Uh, if it is moving up, it means it's uh, upgrading. NPA sometimes will become a PA. Substandard accounts may become, you no, know, it may be elevated or it may totally become a, it may totally become a performing accounts because they have serviced the interest everything. Very rare. Very rare. I'm just giving. Otherwise, what will happen? Substandard will migrate to doubtful. Doubtful when the assets are all gone, it will migrate to loss assets. After three years, automatically it is as good as loss assets. Agreed? So similar way, ah, okay, now you come to the question, after downgrading, what is downgrading? 400 earlier, now 20% moved down. So the remaining will be how much? Remaining will be how much? 
only 320. Why I have reduced to 80? 400 means 20 how much pass? 400 crore uh, before migration. I will 20% risk category. So 20% of 20%. 20% of 400 is how much? 80. So the remaining will be 320. The 320, 20% 64. You see the words. This is a wonderful question. Next is the 320. Now, value how much was there? Uh, next grade, 600 crore. The 600 crore, the 80 crores have come from that. The 80 crores have come from where? 20% has moved down to. So, 600 plus, have you got uh, 380? 600 plus 80, 680. But the 600 may 50% how much? 50% of 50% risk category. That's too, you see how they are playing with VATs. So 600 may 50% of match 50, uh, uh, 300. So 680 minus uh, 300, 380. How much will be remaining in 50%? 380. How I got 380, understood? How I got 320 bus? This is how people are, uh, yes, uh, getting confused. How I got 320? 400 original. Now 20% of that, 20% is category. 20% of 400 is 80, 80. Here, 80 comes here. Again, 50% goes out, goes to the next level. So 380. Next, you go down. 1000 already there in 100% race. Now, 50% category, <coughs> 600 may 50% of match, uh, 300. So it will become 1300. You total again, it will become uh, 2000. 1300, 380. 320, 320 plus 380, how much? 700. 3300, 2000. Same 2000 now distributed. Here, now 20% risk category, only 320 is remaining. They will twist the question. But in 50% category, how much is remaining? They will ask. 320 is only remaining. How we, how we got 320 understood? Inflow, outflow. Okay, inflow, outflow means what? From 20%, 80 has come. From 600, 50% has moved down. Uh, 300 has moved down. So, total. Now, calculate the risk weight. 64, 320, 20, 64, 380, 50, 190, 1300, 100%, 1300. So, the total risk weight is 154. And total capital is 1554 into 9, 139.86. So, the uh, capital charge is uh, that minus this. Huh. 139.86 minus additional capital. Because of the downgrading of assets, bank has to provide more capital so the bank has to uh, mobilize additional capital because of this exercise i think go through this it has been simple way they are asking understood or not any doubt okay now this i think we have uh, again we'll discuss okay now there are three banks bus okay bank a bank b this also one year but now it is very simple Bank A has got 1000 crores, 500, 300. This bank also 1000 crores. This bank also 1000 crores. All banks have got 1000 crores, but different assets. Now the question is, which is the strong bank, which is the weak bank, what capital? Simple. Okay, five more question, believe it or not. <laughs> this is not every year they will not ask, they will change the pattern. One year they will ask like that, dividend, one year they will ask like this. You understood now? All three banks are having 1000 crores assets. But this bank is having 500 crores in 20% category, 300 crores in 50% category. So 200 crores in 100% category. Now we have to calculate the capital. Capital A, bank A, you have to calculate 500 into 20, 100, 300 into 300 into 50, 150. You can do it by heart also. And 200 into 100, 200. So total risk weight is 450. And what is the capital needed? Uh, 40.5. So bank A over. Now bank B. Now bank uh, A 40.5. You separately note down. Next, you note down, then you answer the question. Next question. Capital A, uh, ba bank, uh, bank A, wa? bank B. Oh, sorry, bank B. Bank B, how much? 400. Uh, okay, bank B already over now. Okay, over. Okay, bank B. Bank B, you see, 400 crore in 50%. So 400 into 50%, 200. 100 crore in 100, 100, 100. Okay, 500 crore in 20% is 500 into 20% is 100. So total risk weight is 400 crore, 400 crore. On that capital is 3.6, 36. So 36 crores capital needed for which bank? Bank B. Bank C how much? 
banks see 250 450 300 for 1000 but different the 250 250 100 so 250 250 next is 450 20 20 percent 90 banks see the banks see uh 50 percent risk is 300 350 percent mean uh, 150 so total risk weight is uh, 490 490 into 9.4 44.1 .4, .4 now all the question you can answer which bank requires the lowest capital question number you see what is the capital needed by bank a simple but uh, don't, sometimes simple also they're asking what is the capital needed by bank b what is the capital needed by bank c what is the lowest cap which bank needs the lowest capital when you have done it you can easily answer which bank needs the highest capital name the strongest bank strongest bank means the bank which needs less capital is the strongest bank the not the bank which needs more capital the bank which needs less capital because their assets are very good assets okay risk weighted asset means you have to bring more capital means it's not a good bank it's a weak bank that is how they will uh, indirectly they will test you understood or not now you come to the next question these are the question again practice it okay bank c now you ask this is the question very often they are asking your bank has got 1000 crores to be invested now investment they are coming not loan they are uh, investing your bank has got 1000 crores to be invested and uh, there are four instruments okay four option first option 1000 crore you know 700 150 50 all 1000 only you see 400, 350, 150, 100, you total, all are 100. 1000 crores, there are four formulas. This is the first formula, this is the second formula, this is the third formula, fourth formula. There are four options. Uh, now the question is, which option gives the maximum return? Which option gives the maximum return? Which option gives the lowest return? Which option has the highest risk? Which, which, uh, what is the RW for option one? What is the capital needed for option three? Beautiful question. Understood or not? Okay. Now we'll go one by one. Return under option one. Option one, how much? Seven hundred crore. They are going to uh, risk adjust risk after adjusting the risk. Seven hundred crore. They are going to invest in six percent zero risk. Government of India, no. So forty two crore they will get income. You see, forty two crore they will get income because zero risk. Second, you see, 150 crore, option one, you first you calculate. 150 crore, they are investing. Under which, uh, 7%. So, 150 into 7 minus 20%. Or 7% minus 20%. 7% 7 minus 20%, how much? 5.6. So, that 150 into 5.6, if you calculate, 8.4. This is known as risk adjusted return. Understood the word? Risk adjusted return. Here zero risk. Entire income you can recognize. Here entire income you cannot recognize because your income may be reduced by 20%. Here entire income you cannot recognize. You have to provide for 50% risk. 4.25, again 4.25, 2.15. You see, by heart. Here income, zero income. Why zero income? Nobody will invest, but they are there. No fool will invest in 100% risk instrument. Though it may be 10% interest, what is the use? This 100% risk. Nobody will invest because 100% risk, you know, you may not get 10% also. The company may become bankrupt. But the exam, they will test you. So you will not get any return in the fourth A debt instrument. Then why they have given? Just to confuse you, they have given. So zero income. So the total income in option one is how much? 52.525 like that you have to go on calculating option two how much option two you see 400 400 into 6 240 24 crores next one 350 crore they invested 350 crore into 7 minus 20 percent so 19.6 next one how much 150 crore they have invested in uh, option two how much return 8.5 8.5 again my uh, reduced by 50 percent and then that becomes 6.375 the fourth instrument, though you are dumping, nobody will, uh, you, uh, you, nobody will, uh, it's a foolish question because nobody will invest in a 100% risk instrument because though it may be 40%, 30%, but risk is 100%, no. Just to confuse you, they have given. So here, zero income. Here also, zero income. <laughs> here also, zero income. Why zero income? Because 100% risk. Understood or not? 
so zero income so this is 49.975 income in option 2 option 3 same way you have to calculate 48.9 income option 4 you are getting 50.05 now you can answer which is the best uh, uh, option option 1 why option 1 is best because they are giving a more return understood uh, this is how you have to calculate agreed boss so option 1 option 2 Okay, sometimes they will twist the question also. What is the capital needed? Risk weight assigned. Risk weight assigned means zero. Government of India bond zero. A, A, A debt 25. Risk weight for option one, 20. A, A debt 25. You see, risk weight assigned, so I will ask. Here risk weight assigned zero. Risk weight, here income zero. Here risk is zero. You see the difference. See the question. Risk weight mean government of India bond, here you are putting zero. Uh, why you are putting zero? Zero risk. Zero risk. Here zero return. Uh, is it zero risk, zero return. You see the difference. AA bonds, triple A bond, 7%. Okay. But risk is how much? 20%. So AA bond, okay. AA bond, how much they have invested? Option one, 150. 150 may. Risk is 20, so 30 is the risk. Next is 50 they have invested, 50% risk, so 25% risk weight. The 100, entire 100 risk. So the total risk in investment one is 155. There you calculated income, here you are calculating risk weight. Remember, risk weight is different from risk adjusted income. Carefully you have to concepts. Uh, you see, earlier I asked what? Understood or not? Earlier I asked was what is the risk weight assigned? Uh, sorry, what is the risk adjusted income I asked? Here what I am asking, what is the risk weight assigned? The government of India upon zero risk. AAA, 20% risk. The AA debt, 50% risk. Like that they will give, they will give. And you have to apply. Read the question and apply. So the total risk weight for option one, 155. Option 2, you see, same way you calculate, 280. Option uh, 2, option 3, like that, questions you have to ask. Understood or not? Now, this question also they are asking. The ECB, ECB means external commercial borrowing. One question, sometimes uh, they will ask five questions, they will ask in a simple situation. It's like a case study. Your Tata Motor raising ECB for 500 million to be drawn in five tranches. Don't get worried. Simple way, I am... Uh, you are answering five mark are getting our LIBOR linked floating rate to be used in India for investment in Indian rupee and the sales will be in India though they are raising a dollar loan they are investing starting a project in India the project cash inflows will be in rupee and all investment will be in rupee so they have to convert to rupee and what risk the company faces okay question number two what is the ideal product to hit this risk you see situation one but it's a risk you know Raising a ECB service and the bank has to now sell risk management product to the corporate. So it's a treasury question. Sometimes it's a risk management question also. If the company does exports and yarn for us, then what, which risk is eliminated? Because the risk related question, no, they may ask. Is there any alternative way to eliminate currency risk? This is the question they will ask. They will give option. I will simple. Why you lose five mark? What is the product that can be used only for managing interest rate risk? To manage only interest rate risk, which product you can manage? The answers are coming here. The company faces, which risk you know? The company faces two risks. Which risk? Currency risk as well as interest rate risk. The currency risk is also known as exchange rate risk. Currency risk they will sometimes use exchange rate risk, interest rate risk. Because floating, you know? The interest rate goes up, you are losing. The currency risk means you have to convert rupee to dollar, then uh, the exchange rate will play a uh, mischief, you will lose. So first question, you have to answer like this. Second question, currency swap is the only product, currency swap, not interest rate swap. Currency swap is the only product that will manage two risks simultaneously. Interest rate risk also it will manage currency risk, two mark you are getting. Sometimes you are lucky is there, five mark you will get, why you miss? Okay, sir, ECB, no, simple question. If the currency, the company earns forex, the company is already exporting and they are earning dollar. Then which risk is eliminated? Uh, currency risk is eliminated. 
you understand they are already earning dollar dollar uh, i will repay use the dollar to repay dollar so there is no conversion risk there is no exchange rate risk that risk is automatically eliminated next pretty one question if ecb is denominated in indian rupee what risk is eliminated again currency risk is eliminated because you are not raised a dollar loan you are raised a rupee loan even from abroad the risk is passed on to him but it is a costly loan costly okay that's a foreign product but they will ask in risk management also put it to which derivative product can be used for managing interest rate risk alone you have to use the word either they will use the word cap or interest rate swap can be used to hedge interest rate risk either cap is uh, just remember why don't you ah uh, yes why you should miss one mark understood it may be in the form of a case study five question don't miss the answer understand the concept now you see the question uh, you see the bank has invested 2000 another few questions only don't worry okay a bank has invested 2400 crore in floating rate bonds and the duration of the pool is pool of assets 6.34 the current rate is 7.2 and what is the market risk for 0.5 hike in interest rate first you note down whenever there is a hike in interest rate the value of the market value will come down the bond value will come down this i think we already discussed interest rate going up bond price will come down inter price coming down interest rate coming down bond price will move up both are opposite now the question is you have to remember a formula here i think in this formula we have discussed you remember the formula percentage change in the value is equal to because when the bonds will market value will change why market value cha- changes because of the changes in interest rates you remember the formula percentage change in market value is equal to md modified duration into percentage change in interest rate this is the formula this formula you have to remember remember the formula percentage change in market value is equal to md md mean modified duration again for md what is the formula you know d divided by 1 plus r d divided by the duration of these assets is 6.34 so modified duration will be 7.2 original rate you know 1.072 so the md is 5.91 so this is how one by one you have to one step if you miss so the decline in price will be decline why decline market interest rate has gone up interest rate 0.5 0.5 they will tell sometimes they will ask use the word 50 points they will use the word please remember 50 points mean 0.5 percent 25 points mean they will not give uh, 0.25 percent 25 points mean 0.25 now uh, you use the 0.25 but ultimately the percentage has to be converted to decimal only so here 2400 crore is the value of the total exposure 5.9 is the md and 0.5 is the uh, change in interest rate so you apply the formula this may be the change in decline not increase decline in the price market value market risk is 7.92 70.92 crore why 70.92 crore though you are having 2400 worth of assets portfolio they will use the word portfolio what is the portfolio assets portfolio that mean group of assets the group of assets 2400 crore the likely loss key is market risk is 70.92 capital needed is just 9% uh, s- sir in this modified duration uh, 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 how you calculated this 1.072 ah uh, uh, note down the formula boss d divided by 1 plus r duration they will give you see their duration they are giving 6.34 duration 6.34 therefore but to apply the formula you want the md so dura from duration you have to calculate md how to calculate md 6.34 divided by 1 plus r what is r 7.2 so 1.072 the 7.2 you have to convert to decimal so 5.91 years always duration will be in years so 5.91 you apply here 2400 is the value of the total portfolio this is a percentage change okay boss 50 okay. points okay. mean 0.5 don't put 50 you uh, 
you better you put 0.5 then divide by 100 that is a, because the percentage you know 0.5 so this much will be the loss this much will be the loss in the portfolio then to manage the loss it is also known as bear or sometimes they will call it bear bear mean value at risk so the market risk is calculated because it's a bond the rates are increasing in bond price will come down this is a loss so to manage the loss whenever there is a loss in market market risk you have to maintain the capital adequate capital so 70.92 is the likely loss so this is a likely capital more capital you have to manage so the bank will have to mobilize more capital capital charge needed correct friends so one mark or you miss okay now please compute this is the question we already discussed so i think uh, uh, some questions uh, may be repeated now you ask this also uh, yes bank has earned 250 crore income in corporate finance okay 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 point option again gone okay please yes, sir uh, okay so here corporate finance beta factor they have given if they don't give you have to remember so 250 into 18% the here 400 crores income they have earned but alpha factor is uh, not alpha factor beta alpha factor is applicable in uh, uh, that uh, uh, basic indicator approach here in standardized approach beta factor that is market is 12% so 400 mein 12 12% how much 48 you see the answer the 48 crore 45 crore risk weight on that uh, total risk weight you calculate 9% you calculate you get the answer the question will be round about but once you are clear with the concepts you work out immediately pick up the correct answer you move to the next question okay that is how you have to manage the timings okay friends so we are just discussing the quick ways you know the way but uh, in the exam how you have to organize yourself okay c55 56 you see simple question but uh, yes the borrower rate at aaa with funded exposure 10 crore collateral lc this we have discussed so i you know that what is the risk weightage first they will ask what is the capital charge you have to calculate separately funded exposure you have to calculate separately and lc you have to calculate in two steps your funded exposure one step collateral is lc two steps i think we have discussed so Uh, like that total uh, this one uh, finally you apply your uh, and here borrower rate at aaa aaa mean uh, 20% standardized approach okay so 0.8 crore is the capital needed or 8 lakhs 0.08 crore is nothing but 8 lakhs okay so like that you pick up the correct answer okay yes boss okay total uh, the 2.8 crore how i got uh, for funded exposure 2 crore non funded exposure 0.08 total exposure 2.08 because they are enjoying funded limits also non funded limits also lc so this is how they will ask you a super question one mark you have to work like this so 57 57 you see ah uh, you see simple way the borrower enjoying small borrower small borrower so remember 75% risk small borrower no ah uh, here blood see nsc With value one lakh, LIC surrender value to twenty thousand. Nifty listed share four lakh as collateral. In the applicable haircut is five percent. They are given very good. Sometimes they will give. Okay. Sometimes they don't give. Sir, how to assume? You have to assume. Gold always remember fifteen percent. Deposit zero. And for NSC two percent they are assigning two percent. Two percent mean uh, expenses and other uh, likely. Uh, erosion because nsc i think there may be on the uh, surrender value sometimes nsc maturing in next year na different value but always then the formula will be undergoing a different don't worry always they will not uh, so much twist they will not make mature in the same year mean on the maturity value uh, minus 2% so here nsc 5% minus lic 25% sorry not lic the applicable haircut is 5% for nsc and lic 5% that's the meaning And for 20 percent for nifty share, what is the risk weight? So first NSC one lakh, but five percent mean ninety five thousand. Exposure eight lakh. First eight, exposure eight lakh you keep separately. Haircut NSC ninety five thousand. Because five percent you have to minus. 
LAC policy, 20,000 surrender value, but haircut is 5%. So that 5% mean you may lose, bank may lose 5% while enforcing the value of the security. So the bank will get only 19,000. Why 1,000 gone? Because of the haircut. And uh, the share's value is, what is the share value? Share value, you see, share, 4 lakh share. But you will not get 4 lakhs. Bank will not get 4 lakh. Bank will get something less. Bank will get only 3 lakh. So this is the value you will get. 8 minus this first two minus it. 8 to adjusted exposure. Okay. Adjusted exposure means what? Uh, okay, I think 3 point adjusted exposure. 3.86, oh, sorry, some calculation, okay. RW retail exposure, oh, sorry, uh, this you minus it. So, when you minus this, 3.86, okay, uh, 0 0.19, 0 0.95, 38 minus this, this is 3.86, correct. 3.86 lakhs, that value is missing, that lakhs. On that, 70% risk weight. On that, again, capital. Again, capital means very too low. 0.26 lakhs capital. You see, you understood. First two, like this only, you have to haircut also. They are, uh, yes. But haircut, there is a different formula. Please remember. But you, this is the simple method they are uh, asking. But if they, okay, sometimes they will ask maturing next year and present value you have to calculate. Present value you have to apply the formula. PV is equal to PN divided by 1 plus R to the power N. That is complicated. That much complication they will not give, mature in the current year. So straight away minus haircut. Okay, formula will be different if it is maturing in uh, subsequent years. Okay, that formula is complicated. You have to find out the present value. Okay, because that thousand you are getting after some years. What is the present value? On that, supposing you are invoking, is a NPA, now you have to realize the value of the securities. When the account becomes NPA, available securities will be enforced. Enforced means you have to sell. You have to get that. You have to adjust that liability. On the reduced liability only, you will apply capital adequacy. You understand? That's the formula. I think you understood ECGC. Suppose the export loan. First, ECGC cover minus it. Uh, step by step, you have to go. For example, okay, which of these does not count for a ASF? This is another concept. I think it's a treasury concept, but anyhow, risk management also. Available st stable funds. Available ASF mean available stable funds. NSF mean normally, normal uh, ASF means a new terminology they are using in Facil 3. Available stable fund mean any deposits, which of these doesn't count for available stable, stable fund. Long term assets maturing after 5 years. That is not a uh, fund. Capital, capital is a stable fund. Deposit maturing after one year, but payable within within five years, stable fund. Any deposit maturing after one year, stable fund. Deposit payable in five to ten year bucket, stable fund. Because the bank will bank will have that money in their hands. And assets is not a stable fund. It's an asset, you know. It's not a the asset is a receivable. But these are all liabilities. You have got funds. So the answer is in this yes of main. A is not a ASF because a asset is an asset. Asset is not a fund. It is not a source of funds. Again, I think all of you remember, asset is a use of funds. Liability is a source of funds, logically. Balance it. Assets is a, assets mean when you are creating asset, you are using your funds. When you are raising a liability, you are getting funds. Understood? So ASF mean available stable funds. Okay, that new concept. Now you see the question. I think this question you already, first question itself. Your portfolio manager having 1,200 crore, invest in 70%, 70% of the funds. Here 70% mean 70% of the funds. They will try to play with VATs. He is having 1,200 crore. Out of the 1,200 crore, 70% of the 1,200 crore is uh, investing in 20% risk category. And carrying 8% coupon. 20% risk, but 8% coupon. So the real risk is 8 into 80, 6.4. 8% return, but 20% risk, you know. Uh, you see, the remaining 70% mean 900 crore. 20% mean 300 crore. 
the 300 crore where is investing 30 percent risk weighted but the coupon is a 10 percent coupon 10 percent coupon 30 percent is so then yeah adjusted return is seven percent uh, though it is carrying 10 percent coupon coupon mean interest rate risk is 30 you know uh, so what is the risk adjusted return seven percent so 300 crore may seven percent only you will get this 25 30 just to confuse you they will give read the question carefully this 75 means 70 percent of the funds this 25 means 25 percent of the funds this 30 mean risk this 80 mean interest <laughs> all percentage when you read don't get confused have a clear approach this is how the question has to be solved 1200 is he has got 70 this is a very often asked question friends believe it or not 1200 crore he has got 70 percent of the 1900 crore the 900 crore how he is investing 20 percent risk and uh, what is the return he is getting 88 percent 8 percent minus 20 percent how much 8 percent uh, okay so remaining 300 crore so 1200 crore the first 900 crore 8 percent but 8 percent but 20 percent risk 8 mean 20 percent is how much 72 minus 20 percent 57.6 crores only will get the income or 90 into 6.4 you try you'll get the same how i got 6.4 uh, uh 8 minus that is 80 percent of 8 80 percent of 80 is how much 20 percent risk you know so 80 80 into 8 uh, 6.4 so 900 into 6.4 57 60. is a intelligence right you know uh practice so the remaining 300 crore is investing in what 10 10 percent coupon but 30 percent risk you know so seven only is the effective return so 307 and 221 crores you can do by but practice though you are investing 300 crore 10 percent instrument risk is 30 percent your return is seven percent so 300 into seven percent 21 crore so what is the the question is what is the total risk adjusted return so 57 plus 60 one more question 78.60 crore you tick you are getting one mark okay this is an intelligent way of asking these are the questions frequently asked ah, portfolio same question capital needed so the next question they will ask capital needed capital needed nine percent this is a question okay yes one minute this is a question i think somebody i saw the message rating matrix they will give a simple analysis. You see, one branch is having before two years they will give. Okay, review year. This is the base year. Next year is uh, okay, 2019-2020. In 2019, what happened? WA account 100 accounts are there. WA plus, there is no WA, but uh, just for example, they have given A 200 accounts, triple B category 400 accounts, C category 60 accounts. Total number of accounts, 860 accounts. <laughs> you total it, 100, 100. Number of accounts will not undergo change. This is at the close of 2019. 2020, what happened? Changed. My God. Out of 100 accounts, 70 accounts only still in AAA category. My God. So what has happened? Remaining 30, uh, 30 accounts, 100 accounts, only 70 accounts still remain in AAA. The six, 16 account has moved down actually. These four accounts have moved down, downgraded. This account still downgraded. These five accounts still downgraded. These uh, triple P uh, downgraded. Totally uh, make it 100. Please remember they will give in percentage, decimal. Don't get confused. This is how you have to do. 100 last year. I have given 100 to easy to understand. But the exam they will give 95 and they retain it. They will give a simple question they will ask. And here you see AA question, AA, AA plus 100 accounts were there at the end of 19. After one year, what happened? My God. My God. Only 10 accounts. Oh, sorry. 10 accounts have moved up, upgraded. But 60 accounts remain in the same category yeah yeah no yeah 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 they remain remaining 40 accounts what happened only 60 account remain in the same category last year 100 now 40 accounts what happened what is the fate 
10 accounts upgraded, 14 accounts downgraded, migrated to AA. Another 10 accounts migrated to what? Next to lower grade. Another 4 accounts migrated to what? For A account. My God, 2 accounts have become NPA boss. 2 accounts out of 100 accounts as on last year, under AA plus also, 2 accounts have become default to mean NPA. You remember, ah, now you analyze the 200. Very simple analysis. 200 accounts were there at the end of this year. Now, A remaining, only 20 accounts remain in A. My God. Sorry, A. Only 160 accounts remain in A. The remaining 40 accounts, uh, 20 accounts upgraded. Ah, great. The 5 accounts downgraded. 15, person, 15 accounts become NPA. My God. Out of 200 accounts, earlier with A, grading, downgraded, and it has slipped to NPA. You see, they will ask a question. What's the percentage of A accounts that have become NPA? Simple. I'm giving a simple question. 15 divided by 200, percentage 7.5. You see, this is the how the, the simple question only, boss. Only analysis. You understood? You see B, 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 B. 400 accounts are there in B, B, B. 400 accounts in B, B, B. But after one year, nothing in A, A, A. Nothing in A, A plus. Nothing in A, A, A. A plus. Yes, 20 accounts are. 20 accounts have upgraded to 20. Okay. But 240 accounts still remain in BB. 80 accounts downgraded C. C means 150% risk. Then 60 accounts moved to NPA. So total you see 400. The 400 account, my God, in one year, this much impact, like a cyclone. 60 accounts have become NPA, boss. Believe it or not. BB, no. They are on the verge of becoming NPA. A account will not immediately become NPA. These accounts are strong. But BB already a weak rating. So 60 accounts are slipped to NPA. So they will ask a question. What percentage of BB account slipped to NPA or default? So 60 divided by 400, 15%. Correct? 60 divided by 400. Okay, next question is, how much percentage of account retained in BBB? Remaining in BBB? It's a simple question. 240 divided by 400, put the percentage button. C, 60 accounts were in C. Worst category. Now, 45 accounts only still remain. Oh, some 10 accounts uh, upgraded. 10, 5 accounts gone. Again, NPA. Total you make, you will get 860. You total this way also or this way also 860. Now question is, what is the percentage of accounts remaining in AA category? AA category, how much uh, percentage of account? Uh, out of 100 account, remaining in AA category is 70. So 70%. Okay. Next. The answer is in the next one. Answer I will let you tell. Percentage account that have become NPA in AA category. AA category, how much? 100 account. You have to understand I have given 100, but there they will give a different. Okay, you have to easy to understand 100. And how much have become NPA, you see? Two accounts have become NPA. Uh, simple, 2%. 2%. Third, what percentage of C category account that have become NPA? C category of account, how much? 60 is the originally last year. And 60... 5% has become uh, NPA boss. So 5 divided by 60 into 100, 8.33% of C category account have slipped to NPA. The question will be in any format. The law, fourth question, what is the percentage of BB account that doesn't change in status? Uh, they will twist the question. You read the question carefully, 400 accounts. Same BB how much? You see the, you have to read carefully. Okay, BB account 400, 240 still remaining at 240. So that doesn't change in status. 
that doesn't undergo any migration. So no migration, 240 divided by what percentage of account do not migrate? That also they will ask. Have not migrated. So 240 divided by 400 into 60 uh, into 100, 60 percent. Uh, sorry, 240 divided by 240 divided by 400, 60 percent account still remain unmigrated. In which category? Triple B category. The last question: What's the percentage account in A category? A category. 200 accounts are there. That upgraded to A plus. Upgraded to A plus means what? Uh, yes, 160 accounts still remain as A, and 20 accounts have been upgraded. Okay, A plus. After A plus only A. So 20 divided by 200, 10% is upgraded. I have just given an example. I hope you understood. This is the simple. Nowadays they are not asking, but still by chance. If they are asking, don't miss it. Five marks you are getting. Okay, friends. Wish you all the best. All of you should become sure winners. Okay. Please go through this. All worked out example. Any doubt is there. Don't worry. Simply send. A, I will not be answered. I will not be able to. you Because your time is maybe another three days. You are straight walking into the exam hall but before you go to the exam hall at any point of time whatever you have discussed don't worry about uh, yes other things don't break your head because there is no time to go through other big big books okay uh, if you have got time you can go through you are welcome but time at your disposal is very sharp so be 